From midnight tonight, along with many other countries around the world, we'll be going into lockdown. The cost of lockdown is of course enormous. Not only the economic costs, the costs of closing businesses and resulting unemployment, and its consequences, but also many other costs, not least of which are the resulting psychological costs. But perhaps the biggest cost of all will be the cost on the elderly. Over and above the psychological costs of being isolated from their loved ones, particularly over the Pesach season, but also, and very importantly, the threat to their health from the COVID-19 pandemic. Over this period of time, I fielded many queries regarding the Sidorian for this year. Undoubtedly, the Sidorian this year will be like no other. Without parents and grandparents, it will not be the same and will certainly we will be missing a very important dimension. But even more challenging will be elderly parents and grandparents having the Sidorium on their own without their children and grandchildren around them. But what I cannot emphasize enough is how especially important it is to protect the elderly during this pandemic. The data coming from studies in countries around the world with established uh, epidemics in China, uh, in Italy, in Spain and many other countries have very clearly shown that the risk of severe disease and death rises steeply with age. Data from Italy, in fact, have revealed that more than one in five persons over the age of 80 with COVID-19 will die from the disease, and one in eight of those between 70 and 79 will die of the disease. In addition, many, other, uh, many, of, many of the other survivors may well end up with permanent lung damage. Having said that, we must remember what the Director General of the WHO said, that the young are also not invincible. Tragically, there have been hundreds of cases of severe disease and death in young, ostensibly fit individuals. Of course, anyone can selfishly buck the system and take liberty with the regulations, but realize that by doing so, you are imperiling not only your own health, but also those of others, and of course, particularly the vulnerable. We are living in very tiring, we are living in very tiring and challenging times, and Pesach this year will be like no other. In everyone's interests and health, let us all do what we can do to minimize, as far as possible, the spread of this pernicious virus. If the lockdown was not instituted, the consequences for our country would be disastrous. At the end of the day, how far we succeed in dampening down the epidemic will depend on how everyone in our community, and of course the wider community, cooperate, is considerate, is sensitive, is aware, is reliably and correctly informed so that we can all work together to combat and slow down and ameliorate this 